Team No Bull, good morning. I'm trying to avoid all the down trees on the way to No Bull. Crazy, I hope you guys are okay. My house got jacked up, but at least nobody was hurt. So, you know, you can just replace stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> the beginning of, before quarantine, in the, in the beginning, it was shocking the momentum we had coming out of the winter, at least from, in my 10 plus years of gym experience, all, all you guys, I mean, were so focused. 98% of my clients were just killing it. And I knew this for many reasons, but one main reason was my Instagram stories were just blowing up. I mean, dozens a day, maybe more, of people tagging us in their runs or their lifts or their, you know, whatever they were doing. But the motivation was at an all-time high. Then COVID hit. And it still was going for a good month, five weeks, six weeks. And then slowly people were falling off. And how I know people are falling off is they hide. They hide. And I get it. I'm not judging. I, I've done it. But you don't hear from them for a day, a week, a month. And then, of course, you know me, the type of gym owner I am, I reach out. I hit everyone up. If I don't hear from them, I probably annoy you. I'm sorry, but that's just what I do. Personal training person so I understand though so I try to I, I treat people slightly differently meaning some people need to be called and say like hey hey shut the fuck up man up let's go others need that more soft approach like you know I understand what's going on you know take a week come back when you're ready blah 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 so that there's a there's a science there believe it or not but I notice now like the Instagram stories have stopped very few people are real still really focused and again, I'm not judging, I get it. It's completely understandable with COVID and now, you know, the protests and the riots and everything going on in the world, you know, there's a lot of shitty things going on. Even I had a bout, I had about one day, maybe half a day, I woke up, I'm like, why the fuck am I gonna go squat and do chin-ups, why? And that passed quickly because for me, training is an outlet. Um, but just like anything else, too much training can be bad. Too many vegetables can be bad, too much, too many oranges can be bad. Too little can be bad. So there's a balance. Everything we do, there's a balance. So if, I'm, if I am speaking to you, if you were gung-ho and then you fell off, it's all right. You didn't screw anything up. The best thing you can do is just you're one workout away, you're one good meal away from a fresh start. And that's important to understand. So if you do eat that cheat meal or you do skip the gym that day, you know, you didn't screw everything up. It's not true. It's not the case. You might feel like that for the day, but it's not true. You have to mentally learn how to just overcome that. But again, it goes back to my old video where I was talking about how it's more important to have daily habits and daily rituals and daily routines more than motivation and discipline. Because we know how many people, you're probably those people, me too, used to be. How many people on your Instagram or, or Facebook or your family members, you know, they get so gung-ho on something, I'll say a diet, a new diet they saw on the internet, or a new workout program, whether it no, be no bull or whatever. They're so nuts about it, to a fault, where they go so hard, and what happens when you go up real fast? You crash, you come down, and that's when you don't hear from these people anymore. So again, that motivation for two weeks was awesome. But it's not long lived. It's not. It's not for the longevity of it. That's not good. Then you start getting those yo-yos. Whether it's your weight, your hormone levels, your motivation. So again, motivation and discipline is is kind of bullshit. Um, it's that mental toughness every day of just saying, "Hey, I got Facebook Live t tomorrow at six. I got outdoor class uh, Tuesday at seven. You know, it's that I know what I have to do today." I have to meal meal prep later. Sunday I have to go food shopping. I want to make sure I get vegetables, etc. So it's just that, you know, especially with iPhones now, I mean you have to set your schedule, set your daily schedule. You don't have to be too regimented. We're not in the Marines, but it does help. If you wake up with a game plan, you will be more effective and efficient for the day. 100 percent guaranteed. Studies have shown that time and time again. So if I am out, if I am if you if I'm the, if you're the person I'm talking to. You know, where you're motivated, then you fell off and you were hiding. Not hiding from me, but kind of. I understand. And it's completely normal. But you come back. You just, all you have to do is come back, you know? It's a simple meal away. It's a simple workout away. Because, listen, the world, you know, feels like it's crashing on us. 
but it's not. It will get better. We'll come back stronger. We're going to fix what we got to fix. And it starts with you. It starts with each individual. If each individual became better every day, us as a, as a, as a world, as a population would become much better as a team. So it starts with you. And that's where you got to start. So you didn't screw anything up. Jump right back on the horse. Love you guys.